It is the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. We're here every single day from 5 to 6 talking about the local issues that matter to you most and, of course, taking your phone calls. You're an active participant in this program, so write down the number, 800-222-KABC. 1-800-222-5222. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, you can email me at randykabc at gmail.com. That's randykabc at gmail.com. I'd like to start today with an update on a story we talked about just a few weeks ago when we had on John Alley from the Santa Monica Coalition, the grassroots organization In Santa Monica, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful cities in the entire state of California, who has filed a lawsuit against the L.A. County Department of Public Health and their director, Barbara Ferrer, because for many years now, Barbara Ferrer has been operating a needle distribution site in Santa Monica Parks. And it has turned Santa Monica Parks into a living nightmare. Next slide. Santa Monica Parks are littered with needles because this needle distribution program is not a needle exchange program. You don't have to turn in a dirty needle to get a clean needle. You can ask for as many needles as you want. If you want two, and then you're going to use one to get high with and one to sell to some other heroin addict, you can do that. Does that make any sense, Barbara Ferrer? I have no idea. I don't know why I'd ask you. You're not a medical doctor. No, thank you. But this organization has sued the L.A. County Department of Public Health. I hope they are wildly successful. They had a rally in Santa Monica yesterday. It's starting to get the attention of some of the local news out there. ABC7 was out there to cover it. For more, here's ABC7. Eyewitness News. Parents in Santa Monica protesting to get rid of that controversial county program from their neighborhood. And notice how when uh, concerned residents are protesting, they're doing it in a public place, but they're not trying to ruin anyone's day. The concerned parents of Santa Monica aren't blocking a freeway or blocking access on Ocean or PCH. No, 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 no. They're actually standing in the place where the problem is, highlighting what the problem is, and they're getting plenty of attention for it. Didn't need to shut down any freeways or any bridges or any airports. Don't need to do that. The parents in Santa Monica protesting to get rid of that controversial county program from their neighborhoods. They say it attracts too much negative attention and it's too close to schools. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth has more from frustrated parents. Sorry. Santa Monica City Council member Christine Potter fighting back tears, speaking at a rally at Reed Park in the city. The rally filled with voices who are against a free needle distribution program at the park. Para and others fear the program has sparked an uptick in violent crime, the park within earshot of a school. You don't say a program that you are needlessly encouraging more drug drug addicts to your location because you're giving them the paraphernalia they want and there's increased crime from it? has sparked an uptick in violent crime, the park within earshot of a school. Our children go to school here. They do not deserve to see this and be a part of this every day. I don't know how, if you're a parent of a small child, you explain what is that sharp thing sticking out of the ground. That is an education the six-year-old, the seven-year-old doesn't need to have just yet. But for some reason, Barbara Ferrer thinks that's the education the kids should have. But I will say unequivocally. How did you pronounce that? But I will say unequivocally. Unequivocably? No. Seems like she wasn't an English major either. Our children go to school here. They do not deserve to see this and be a part of this every day. No more needles in our park. No more needles. You know, I appreciate the passion, but there is just something about a megaphone rhyming chant that is always going to be a turnoff for me. No more needles in our park. No more needles in our park. No more crime after dark. We get it, but they are not helping your cause with that one for me. Maybe some people out there like the chant. I'm just not a megaphone chant kind of person. The city of Santa Monica, along with Los Angeles County and the Venice Family Clinic, 
have been operating the only open air publicly funded needle distribution program in the state. We don't even do this in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. We don't even do this in Oakland. This is something only done in Santa Monica and only operated by somebody who is not a medical doctor. Somebody who admittedly says could not pass an MCATs and get into medical school. (laughs) Somebody who says she barely graduated high school. I have tech issues. And yet she thinks it perfectly makes sense to have an open air needle distribution program in Santa Monica near where the kids are supposed to be playing because this is what public health is all about. Um, I got a lot of Ferrer drops. I got to use them. The city of Santa Monica, along with Los Angeles County and the Venice Family Clinic, have been operating the only open air. And by the way, I love how a member of the Santa Monica City Council is at this rally when they're the ones that have enabled this program for years and years and years and years, either not saying anything about it or acting like they were powerless to stop it because Ferrer is a tyrant. No, thank you. You could stand up. You could stand out. At least that one city councilwoman's doing something now. But this has been going on for years And this has got to stop. The city of Santa Monica, along with Los Angeles County and the Venice Family Clinic, have been operating the only open air publicly funded needle distribution program in the state. And let's not forget that aspect of it. Publicly funded. This isn't a charity. This isn't philanthropic money that's coming in. Your tax dollars, if you live in Los Angeles County, even if you don't live in the city of Santa Monica, your tax dollars fund this program and many other programs like it. Let's not forget that because we're going to come back to that point shortly. Needle distribution program in the state. They make their distributions at Reed Park, Tonga and Palisades Park along Ocean Avenue. Anguish. I w- you know, places that are supposed to be tourist destinations and places for kids to play and people to enjoy beautiful Santa Monica. No, let's have it where all the drug addicts can line up and get as many needles as they want. And they don't, you know, if you remember the original idea for needle exchange programs, because I don't know, you watched the third season of The Wire and saw Hamsterdam, is, well, you know, in the 90s, you had a massive HIV crisis. And there were a few ways that you could get HIV, which would later turn into AIDS. One would be unprotected you-know-what. The other would be sharing needles. And who shares needles? Drug addicts. So if you have them give you their dirty needle, which could be infected with HIV, and they give you a clean needle, then you're less likely to get the AIDS. However, if you are not doing any kind of picking up of the dirty needles that are littering these parks, and I don't know, an innocent bystander, a child, a dog, steps on the needle that could have the HIV, how exactly are you going to explain putting the citizens of Los Angeles County at risk for full-blown AIDS. I have no idea. Don't get to use that term very often, and I just had to. Eyewitness News speaking to this emotional parent at the rally in Reed Park. She did not want her name used, but wanted us to know her son once begged her to move out of the area surrounding the park. He said to me, Mom. Kid lives with an eye shot of a giant Ferris wheel, the ocean, the beach. And he says, Mommy, we got to get out of here. This place is too scary. I have a hard time understanding uh, logic. And sunshine. He said to me, Mom, can you please move me somewhere safe? He did not want to walk outside by himself for a very long time. Last time I checked, Santa Monica is very expensive to live in. This is unacceptable in any neighborhood, let alone Santa Monica. The L.A. County Department of Public Health saying it remains committed to providing services to those suffering a substance use disorder. What about uh, the people who are not suffering from a substance abuse disorder that you're also supposed to be taking care of? Do you care at all about them? Uh, And, uh, you know... uh you don't? You don't care about the children? Uh, and, uh, you know... Uh, the parents? Uh, and, uh, you know... Uh, Just the drug addicts. Yeah. And instead of helping the drug addicts by getting them off the heroin, you're going to make sure that they have easier ways to do it, right? Next slide. Oh, we'll get there. The L.A. County Department of Public Health saying it remains committed to providing services to those suffering a substance use disorder. In a statement, the department adds... 
Restricting access to harm reduction services will only exacerbate the current overdose and homelessness crisis facing our communities. Well, I don't know. We've been practicing this harm reduction stuff pretty heavily ever since Barbara Ferrer became the public health director for Los Angeles County seven years ago. And I would just happen to say in those seven years, the overdose numbers have gone through the roof. No, thank you. Yes, some of that is stronger drugs out there, including the Trank and the ISOs that are out there that are actually resistant to the Narcan that Barbara Ferrer put in all the libraries. But don't you worry, we just keep practicing this harm reduction and everyone's going to be A-OK. The evidence is like crystal clear on that. That's really not. In a statement, the department adds, restricting access to harm reduction services will only exacerbate the current overdose and homelessness crisis facing our communities. I don't know. Might compel somebody if they can't get a clue. Well, I'm either going to put my health at even more severe risk or maybe, just maybe, I should try to get off this junk. Instead, we enable people to continue their own human suffering, which they're in no place to judge if it's a good idea for them or not. We're supposed to be the ones who judge it's not a good idea for them and do something about it. But you have people like Barbara Ferrer and her acolytes who are actually allowing people to continue to suffer. Um, And she makes... $650,000 a year to kill the homeless. City officials in Santa Monica say they are not against the spirit of the program. And this is why you got to reelect everybody on the Santa Monica City Council, except for the one that showed up at this rally. If you cannot come out in full force and say, this is unacceptable, this is destroying our city, this might be one of the reasons nobody goes to the Third Street Promenade anymore, then you are not a defender of your city. You do not have the values of Santa Monica in your heart or the Santa Monica residents. All you care about is passing out needles. City officials in Santa Monica say they are not against the spirit of the program. But you know, I just thought of something. I feel like we could change the marketing here. Because maybe this is a good idea for a program. Maybe it's just a terrible idea to do it in a place like Santa Monica. However, what if we centralize the problem? What if we have, instead of having these slip shot, scatter shot, needle distribution sites all over the state of California, what if we did it all in one place, a town that almost nobody's using, that you'll probably drive through anytime you're trying to go to Arizona or New Mexico? Why don't we... Give all the needles away in needles. City officials in Santa Monica say they are not against the spirit of the program, but recently passing a resolution requesting the county-run program be moved away from parks and schools and be operated indoors. No, I would like the program to end because the program does not work. And as we have discussed, it's not the only program out there that is being funded by your tax dollars. You know, Every once in a while, I try to see if I can do an own independent audit into the money that's being spent in the L.A. County Department of Public Health, specifically in their substance abuse prevention and control budget, which they get millions and millions of dollars of every single year. What do you know? The last year of publicly available budgets and reviews of how effective these programs are is going all the way back to 2006. But the last year that I was able to actually find a budget for any of this was about 2018, 2019. And there are several different line items for that budget, which remember is for substance abuse and prevention. So you would assume the majority of that money goes towards treating people's addictions, funding space for beds and rehab hospitals, detox, getting people off the drugs that are killing them. But it's not being spent on that. It's being spent on programs like this with the Venice Neighborhood Clinic cashing in on passing out needles without having to even get the dirty ones back. And then you look at what we're funding in places like Skid Row with the exact same budget from the L.A. County Department of Public Health's substance use and prevention budget. You look at an organization like Homeless Healthcare Los Angeles which sounds like a great name, sounds like they really care about the health and the well-being of the homeless. Well, this nonprofit is the one that gets thousands and thousands of dollars from the city 
every single year, and the county, excuse me, every single year for one specific purpose. They go to Skid Row, they go to Hollywood, and they pass out meth pipes. Clean meth pipes. Clean paraphernalia. So you will make sure you don't catch any diseases if you're sharing a meth pipe. We'll give it to you. Heck, in San Francisco, we've got harm reduction programs that are funded by city and county money where it's not only a pipe, they give you a whole kit. They give you a spoon. They give you the little straw. They even give you some aluminum foil because for some reason you have to light the foil on fire to melt the meth or the heroin. I don't know. I never did any hard drugs, just a lot of weed and the occasional ecstasy and mushroom trip, but I never did anything that crazy. I don't understand what the foil is for, but what I do understand is I'm not okay with the fact that my tax dollars are being spent on programs that are actively making the problem worse. You could make a whole argument that everything that we're doing with Narcan is similar, but at least Narcan does have a legitimate use in that if somebody accidentally overdoses in that, let's say they thought they were taking a Percocet, it was stepped on with fentanyl, we can revive them. That part, I have a little more, I have a better time swallowing. But when it comes to passing out needles in Santa Monica and passing out meth pipes in Los Angeles County, I'm not okay with that. I would love for a way for me, when I'm looking at my property taxes or the sales taxes that I pay, all the money that goes straight to the county of Los Angeles, for a little asterisk to be there, I don't want any of this money going towards those programs. I don't agree with those programs. I think those programs are incredibly harmful. But you know what? Maybe I'm close-minded on the subject. Maybe I'm the only one out there that thinks this way. I have no idea. So this is why I just want to get uh, you know, a little idea from you, the audience, how you feel about this. You've heard about these programs. We haven't actually seen any results that show that they're effective, but Barbara Ferrer says we need them. Yeah. Barbara Ferrer says these programs are incredibly important, and if we got rid of them, it would only make the problem worse. The evidence is like crystal clear on that. So I want to ask you at 800 222 K-A-B-C, 1-800-222-5222, this simple question. Are you okay with your tax dollars being used to buy paraphernalia for drug addicts? 800-222-K-A-B-C, 1-800-222-5222. Are you okay with your tax dollars in L.A. County being used for these programs, these harm reduction programs like needle exchanges and like meth pipe pass out programs. Are you okay with this? 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. We're taking your phone calls, 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. Residents in Santa Monica are suing the county of Los Angeles, the city of Santa Monica, and good old Babs Ferrer. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, for continuing to operate a needle distribution program in Santa Monica parks near where the kids are supposed to play, not a needle exchange where they give the dirty needles in exchange for clean ones. They just pass out as many needles as people want. It's giving money to an organization called the Venice Family Clinic and they are passing out the needles. We're also doing other programs in the county of Los Angeles, like the money we give to Homeless Healthcare Los Angeles that passes out meth pipes for drug addicts. Are you okay with your tax dollars going towards these harm reduction programs? 800-222-KABC. Let's start with Mary in L.A. Mary, hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Hola, buenas tardes. I am a proud Salvadorian-American and absolutely so frickin'lutely not in agreement with our tax dollars going to fund more people that are already drug addicts to further be drug addicts. So not cool with that. It's actually pretty gross. It's really gross. 
And I was trying to find out if there's any any groups that I can sign on to or help or any petitions I can sign so that uh, somehow I can let it be known that this should not happen. It's just Well, stupid. I'll tell you, the uh, Mary, the one group that is standing up, the ones that are actually suing the county, and you can find out more about them, uh-huh. look for the Santa Monica Coalition. They're the first ones to really raising the alarms about this, but I feel like the only way we're going to get the amount of opposition we need is we've got to organize and we've got to complain, complain, complain to our, you know the board of supervisors. We do not want our money spent on these programs. They probably won't listen, but that's one organization that I'm so glad they're suing. You know, uh, it might be a huge lawsuit, might be a huge payout, but at the end of this, we're going to be doing okay because if it gets that program to go away, that's money that's being wasted. Money and quite for sure money. Uh, it's also, it's so gross. I'm a nanny and it's really disgusting to not be able to take children to a park anymore uh, uh, so they can enjoy the outdoors, get some clean air, even though we're polluted here. But still, it's better than indoors. Because it's disgusting and it's dangerous and it's just unsafe and it's wakala. <laughs> In other words, so how do I do I go online and and look at the for the Santa Monica Coalition or what do I do? What do you suggest? Yeah, that's what I would suggest. You go to the Santa Monica Coalition dot org and you can get some more information awesome. on what they're doing there. They're the first organization to really be calling Barbara Ferrer out on this. But if we get information on any other organizations that are in this fight, I'll be make sure to bring those to the air so you're well aware. Mary, thank you so much for the call. Appreciate it. 800 kabc is the telephone number. Are you okay with your tax dollars being spent in L.A. County on needle distribution programs in Santa Monica and meth pipe pass out programs in Skid Row? 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. It is the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. We're here every single day from 5 to 6 talking about the local issues that matter to you most and taking your phone calls at 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222. The Santa Monica Coalition is suing the city of Santa Monica, the county of Los Angeles, and specifically Barbara Ferrer. Yeah. Because for years, they've been operating in Santa Monica Monica in parks near schools, a needle distribution site, not a needle exchange. They pass out the clean needles, even if you don't give back the dirty needles. And guess what happens? The dirty needles are littering the streets of Santa Monica and the parks of Santa Monica. We also have on the other side of town, the L.A. County Department of Public Health funding with your tax dollars. Homeless Health Care Los Angeles, an organization that passes out meth pipes to meth heads on Skid Row. So my question to you at 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222 is this. Are you okay with your tax dollars going towards these harm reduction programs? Let's go to Dennis in Anaheim. Dennis, hello. Hey, how's it going? Doing great. You know, I am not okay. I am not okay with our tax dollars. Like myself, like so many other Californians that just paid a lot of tax a couple days ago. And, uh, you know, we're like a 12%. 10 to 12% tax bracket for California state income tax. And, you know, I just wonder what we're paying for each needle. I have a, my cat has diabetes and I have to buy needles are 27 cents a piece. And I just wonder what the inflated price is of these needles that we're handing out and the method. Oh, I'm sure sure the markup, I'm sure the markup on the other end is massive. And, you know, statewide they're, are grants that come from state taxes, including the income taxes that you just paid through the nose and I just paid through the nose, where they actually will give money to cities to start programs like this. They tried that in San Diego County, and one and one city said, hell no, we don't want that money. We don't want this program. But that's a rarity in this state. Yeah, I'm just shocked at the amount of drug use and blatant open it, it's like it's legal right now i don't know man i'm old school and i just i can't believe that we're in a, the state that we're in right now especially with all the needles and uh, heroin use and it's just it's crazy you know and like you said about 
they're just being littered all over the streets and a health hazard and innocent people getting stuck. It's, it's, it's gotten ridiculous. Totally agree. Thanks for the call, Dennis. Appreciate it. 800-222-KABC is the telephone number. Are you okay with your tax dollars going towards needle programs and meth pipe programs? Thanks to L.A. County Department of Public Health's Barbara Ferrer. I have no idea. 800-222-KABC. Let's go to Antonio in West L.A. Antonio, hello. Hello, Randy. Thank you for the show. Of course, I am not. I am not agreeing that my taxes huge taxes go to something so stupid. Of course, what can you expect with that so-called doctor, Barbara Ferrer, who did a terrible job during the pandemic? I mean, she's not even a medical doctor, and she's giving advice on health. And every time I see her on TV, she looks older than my grandmother, and my grandmother has been dead for 40 years. So I never <laughs> believe anything she says. So, uh, that's terrible. Of course, I will ne- to be also, I will never live in the People's Republic of Santa Monica. No way, Jose. Especially now when you have probably needles and of that stuff in the streets and not safe for my grandchildren. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do except complain. Thank God for you so I can get it out of my chest. I'm, I'm supposed to start working in a few minutes but I park before I, I go inside my job because I needed to get it off my chest. And unfortunately, we're never going to get rid of that Barbara Ferrer. Never going to get rid. It's like a bad hemorrhoid that's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. So <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I, I wish I wish we would let her go. But I'm making that kind of a money. Are you kidding me? Over $600,000 is more money than the president? No, 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 no. But thank you for letting me. Now, now I can go to work feeling better that I left some steam and uh, you always do a great job randy we really need i wish you do two hours but uh, thank you so much for listening to myself i appreciate that antonio thank you so much for calling inventing that's what we're here for we are the sounding board of southern california call and invent anytime my friend that's what we do here you want to blast away you give us a call, 800-222-KABC, 1-800-222-5222, especially when you consider that it's your tax dollars that not only pay for these programs, but pay for the $650,000 a year salary to this buffoon. I have tech issues. Let's go to Joe and Hemet. Joe, hello. Hey, how are you, Randy? Randy, a couple quick things. First of all, we need to uh, get our wonderful mayor and, and Ferrer, the Impostma, uh, two portable trailers and move their offices into that park. We, we must demand that. Let them have their offices in that park every day, and that's where they work from. The second thing is all the talk, and your show's great, and I appreciate it, but you know what? It's all talk. We need to stand together. An idea I have is, and I'm not a smart guy, offer them a drug program, a real drug program, not rip off like it's going now, all the money down the drain. If you don't want to go on the drug program, then we put you on a chain gang and you work cleaning the streets in our city and the parks. And if you drop dead from withdrawal, unchain you, leave you there, pick you up. But if you don't want to go, chain you. Let's get rid of this trash and let's get rid of these trash that are in office and make them live in the damn park with all the scumbags that they support. Enough's enough. We're not doing the people that race in the street. Take your car away, the great police, take it away, get dirty cars, bring those people down, put them right in the car, you're paid for a night right in front of them and go. That's what happens when you street speed and do donuts and endanger people. Wow, wow, wow. St- let's make some stern laws, stick together and make it happen. Otherwise, nothing's going to change with all this talk. I think you are totally right, and I'm going to advocate today and every day from now going forward, the next L.A. County Board of Supervisors meeting should be held at Reed Park in Santa Monica. I love it. Thank you so much for the call, Joe. I appreciate it. Our elected leaders that spend our dollars in these most insane ways, they should have to live in it. They should have to be right there to it. If they support this program, they should be doing all their public hearings right next to this program. I want to see it on the TV on Channel 36. More of your phone calls coming up in minutes, 800 222 to KABC. Are you okay with your tax dollars going towards these harm reduction programs like the needle distribution in Santa Monica and the meth pipe pass out program on Skid Row? It's the news blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. Let's go back to the phones. Megan in Santa Monica. Megan, hello. Hello. So I'd like to point out that 
part of the reason these hijinks are taking place, I believe, in the city of Santa Monica is it's an unincorporated city. It falls into Los Angeles County, but we don't get to vote for the mayoral election of Los Angeles. We don't get to vote. I mean, we have no say in any of the um, county elections because we have our own city council. So we can't uh, vote off any of the people that are helping this, you know, fueling this problem. And it's not, I don't think it's a coincidence that Reed Park is directly across the street from the Catholic private high, um, grade school, high school in the city of Santa Monica. I have walked past the entrance to that gym, which runs along, I guess that would be Idaho, and walking my dog and seeing mounds of filthy needles three feet away from where all the kids are walking in and out of the gymnasium. I mean, that would never happen at, a, at one of the public schools. And I don't, I mean, it's, why is Venice Family Clinic, you, you know, colluding with the county of Los Angeles to disseminate paraphernalia in a part of town that isn't even able to vote against any of these officials. It's it's appalling, but, you know, if they're really that concerned about people contracting diseases from needles, why aren't they handing out condoms? You know, I always point out to all my liberal friends, and, like, they're like, oh, they're trying to keep them clean, but you know what? Diabetics don't get free needles, and there are a lot of poor people with diabetes. They don't get free needles. Junkies do. But they need to be handing out condoms as well as needles. There's more than one way to get HIV. Oh, you're totally right, Megan. I, you know, I'm almost curious. We should do a social experiment. What if a diabetic gets in that line and says, I don't need it for drugs. I need it because I need my insulin. Would they give them the needle? I'd, I'd be very curious. And I, I mean, I don't know how if the gauge size on the needles varies wildly, but I mean, I do know that they, I believe they hand out two needles per visit or per handout, which is more than most of the junkies need, and they end up selling one of them. So they end up using one yeah. for trade because it's such a generous gift. I mean, it, it's absolutely appalling. So all these things are happening. So the other, per, the person who made this happen, the previous um, that city manager, which is, I, my guess, one of the most corrupt positions in every large liberal city, um, Rick Cole, had been, I believe, the city manager of Pasadena, and then he became the city manager of Ventura, California, where I grew up, and he got fired because he's just a corrupt, you know, POS. And then he became the city manager for an even, you know, dirtier city, city of Santa Monica, and he actually quit right before they were getting ready to fire him because they found out he was doing a whole bunch of shady stuff. So whoever this new guy is is just a replacement for you know, the same type of person. But I don't b believe we even get to vote on the city manager. It's an appointed position. And the city manager of the city of Santa Monica went and agreed to this needle dissemination program without even consulting with the city council. So this was a backhand handshake deal between the county of Los Angeles, Venice Family Clinics, and the city manager of the city of Santa Monica. Subsequently, three of the city council members have gotten behind it because, you know, they're just too stupid and don't know any better. But those are the things that need to be brought up when you're, you know, upon re-election time. Um, there is one organization that, that I can't remember what it's called. Um, they're the ones who have all the signs up on the Third Street Pranica, a promenade that say, you know, Santa Messica and... Um, Oh but yeah, that, I think that's Santa really Monica active. Coalition. They're the they're the ones that are doing all the fighting. They're the ones that are suing the county over this program and suing the city of Santa Monica because, as you said, the city manager, the mayor, and the city council have enabled this crap over and over again. Megan, thank you so much for your call and your passion. Appreciate it. It's the News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC. If you'd like to email us, you could do so at randykabc at gmail.com. That's randykabc at gmail.com. AJ writes in and says, I guess not being a medical doctor, Ferrer won't be held to the oath of office that a doctor will do no harm. Years ago, the phrase was just say no. Now they're actually encouraging the use of drugs. Doesn't make any sense. I totally agree with you. I have a hard time understanding. AJ also wants to know if we can hear the South Park song. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Let's go to Mern in Santa Clarita. Mern, hello. Hey, Randy. I live in uh, Canyon Country to the explicit. Uh, listen, I'm calling to make a phone call because I, I want to lose 10 pounds. So if this is how this work, flip works, please bring me mashed potatoes, fried chicken, ice cream, a sundae would be good, chocolate sauce and whipped cream on it, please, candy bars. Oh, wait. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> See, right? it would, that, would, that would be the weight. harm reduction to a diet. <laughs> right. So it doesn't work to give people the very thing that's making them sick, ill, whatever you want to call it. So grow up. You know, as somebody that tried to diet on fast food for the last two decades, I can totally yes. agree with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's I knew no healthy way to eat side, fast Randy. food. Love your show. Thanks for talking. Love you. Thank you so much for calling. There's no healthy way to eat drive through I have learned that lesson the hard way for many, many, many years. And you know what? There's no safe way to do heroin. There's no safe way to do meth. There's no safe way to do fentanyl. It does not exist. Harm reduction is absolute nonsense. Because there is no safe way to do these things. And if we had a public health director that knew what she was doing in Barbara Ferrer and actually had a medical degree, maybe we'd have a better chance. But this is who we have. And the Board of Supervisors rubber stamps her nonsense. And the city of Santa Monica, fecklessly, years later, when all the residents are complaining and suing them, is like, well, can you just do it inside? And you, We just don't want to see it. No, we don't want the program to exist. And we don't want it in Santa Monica. That's how you stand up to the Board of Supervisors. That's how you stand up to Barbara Ferrer. And if that's not going to happen, then you got to get new local elected leaders in the city of Santa Monica. It's a lot easier in a tiny little city like that than it is in the city of Los Angeles or the county, but it is doable. What's that? With the time that we have left, you want to hear Barbara Ferrer doing Michael Jackson? You can catch us every day from 5 to 6 right here on KABC. I'll see you tomorrow for another News Blitz with Randy Wang on Talk Radio 790 KABC.